Hello YouTube, this is Everything is Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to fully connect your HDMI cable from your computer using Vista 32 or 64 bit to a uh, television. So before we get started, you're going to need a set of HDMI cables. These can run you from around $39 to $49 for the 6 feet and $69 to uh, $79 for the 12 feet in, in stores such as Best Buy and Radio Shack. However, you can get these cables for uh, a cheaper amount from websites such as Amazon or eBay. Like, for instance, I got a 25 feet uh, HDMI cable for $10 on Amazon, which is pretty good. So, before we do get started, I just want to locate the HDMI cable on my television, which is just kind of over there. Go ahead and connect that. Make sure it is in. Okay. It's in tightly and make sure the other end is in your other HDMI slot. Your laptop. Uh, it says HDMI over here. Okay. Go ahead and put that in. Okay. After HDMI cables are in and both ends. Go ahead and turn your television on, and I am just gonna kind of fix my television towards my seat over here. Okay. If it is your first time setting up HDMI cables, you're gonna have to do something harder than what just happened. If it's your second time, it will automatically just have the video uh, straightforward. It will come out on your television without even setting up anything so I'm gonna show you how to uh, set up the video and sound okay so after I kind of fix that up um so now I don't have any signal on this so now I gotta get signal so that I can have the display I'm having on my laptop onto my television using HDMI cables first of all you might want to right click on the on the home whatever you want to call it the home place whatever Go to Nevada control panel. Go ahead and click that. And you're going to have all these options. So let me zoom in my camera a bit. You want to go to set up multiple display displays. You're going to have this option. Now what I prefer is set up the clone version. Because you have displays on both your laptop and television. So go ahead and cl click clone. Select select clone go to apply hit apply now it gives you the 15 second warning and just make sure you have the display on your uh, TV go ahead and yes that okay now you got a display on your television same thing on your laptop now you only have display and now probably the hard part is getting the sound come out of the of the television so just to prove that the sound does not come out from the laptop, just in case, I just want to show you, prove it to you guys right now. Uh, go ahead and click, okay. See, it still comes out from the laptop, so, the sound still comes out from the laptop. So, what we gotta do now is, of course, exit iTunes, or whatever I was using. Without connection stuff, okay. Now, what you need to gonna do is right click. Personalize and you go to sounds. Click that. Go to playback. Okay. Now you have two options speakers, headphones, and HDMI. What I'm going to need you to do is right click on the speaker headphones and go to disable. Once that's disabled, you will have HD. It will the check will be on HDMI. If it isn't, go right click and go um, enable. Okay, and just test it. Sound comes out from the television, meaning the sound is now hooked up to. And now let's go ahead and check that out and prove it and just check it just in case. Okay, go ahead and open iTunes if you want to check. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, it's coming out from my television. Sound comes out from the television. It's all good. And now, every time you connect your HDMI cable to your television, you're always going to need to uh, change the sound settings. So you're going to need to do the same thing we did for the sound if you're done connecting your HDMI cable. So go back to personalize, sounds, playback, and then just do the same thing we did to the speakers. Go to uh, HDMI, disable, go to speakers, right click, enable, just test it just in case. There you go. So you need it. It does get a bit annoying from every time you have to switch to HDMI and speakers, but it's totally worth it. HDMI has clear quality than S video. In my opinion, HDMI is way better. All you need is one wire. Whereas for like the S video, you're gonna need the audio and video cable. S video and the audio. So even though HDMI cables are expensive, they're totally worth it in my opinion. And if you have an HDMI, HD TV, you do need to get HDMI cables. Well, I hope I helped. If you have any more questions or comments, please do comment in the space given. And thank you for watching.